Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 23. Today, I'm going to continue the vein that I started in the last show, which was testing some um, portable antennas for HTs or scanners or, or whatever. And the purpose of the testing I did this time was to find a good replacement for uh, both an HT 2 meter 440 or a scanner radio uh, because I have several radios and I've either lost or broken uh, some of the antennas so I do need a replacement. So today I wanted to do a comparison of the uh, MFJ antenna and uh, Compare it, here it is right here, compare it to one of my HT antennas that's built for 440 and 2 meters and one of my scanner antennas that's supposed to be a broadband scanner antenna. Now, what's unique about this antenna, one thing, is that it's teles telescopic. Oops, get it back in the screen. So... You can extend it and you can tune it, similar to the uh, antenna I reviewed uh, last week. But one thing that the antenna I had last week didn't have that is a problem for HT sometimes, especially one that extends for a pretty long length, is the ability to hold your HT, okay, here's my scanner, to hold your scanner, which normally has a short antenna, to hold it such that you can read it without this big antenna sticking out and protruding. And this has a feature that allows you to do that. And I'll put it on this radio right here and show you what I mean. Okay. So there it is, kind of, you know, a typical setup, but it's real long. And you have to be kind of careful when you're, you know, tilting it down to read it. This has a joint on it so that you can crank it like that. See there? Also, it's nice for desktop scanners, for instance, that you want to plug in at a right angle. Now you can do this with your uh, little portable HT and, and scanner antennas, but you have to have an adapter to give you that L connection. With this, it's built in because it has this joint. So that's a pretty handy dandy little feature. So anyway, let me uh, let me show you my testing them and test results. Put this down. Go to my desktop and bring up. Okay, so we're testing the MFJ model number eighteen twelve scanner receiver antenna, and the idea is we're looking for a replacement antenna for both. Amateur radio HTs and scanners, portable scanners, that is. And, and like I said before, this one is unique in that it can be uh, used as a, as a tabletop antenna uh, because it has that joint in it. And we're looking something with a lower cost, uh, but still gives you good reception. You know, a reasonable cost, but gives you a re uh, good reception. And so it's going to be a replacement for either a total just replacement of an antenna that doesn't give you a good performance or a replacement for an antenna that's been lost or broken. Okay, here's the testing setup I use. I use my ICOM PCR 1500 um, wideband receiver. I use that because it gave me, it gives me, using the software that comes with it, um, a field strength, a signal, excuse me, a signal strength uh, meter, which will give me a relative indication of the performance of the antennas. 
The three antennas that I'm going to that I tested were the MFJ 1812, which is the one I want to replace. One of these two other ones, possibly, um, if they get damaged or broken or lost. And the scanner antenna from my RioShack Pro 84, which is what I just showed you a few minutes ago. And an HT antenna from my ICOM dual band radio. So those are the three antennas that I'm going to compare. Now, this is not the most scientific testing in the world, but it should give you some relative results of antenna to an antenna. And if you've done some testing yourself, please let me know. Leave me a comment or uh, send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com. Okay, here's the results. Okay, I, I ran through a bunch of frequencies real quick, kind of get a spattering of the various bands, um, what, I, what I could find during the daytime right here, Sunday afternoon, um, and a couple of different modes. Uh, I was going to do more extensive testing, but I wanted to get this uh, video out this week, so I cut it a little bit short. But this gives you some indication. And what was surprising, and as you'll see from the test results, is one antenna was better or equal to the other ones. So the first test we did was at 13.825. Um, that was a shortwave AM band, uh, station with the scanner antenna, the little antenna that off my Radio Shack scanner. I got an indication of 3.2. With the MFJ antenna, I got an indication of seven, almost double. And then with the HT antenna, it was cutting in the middle at five. Okay, the next frequency I tested was 93.3, which is a local FM station. With the scanner antenna, I got 3.0. With the MFJ antenna, I got 7.3. And with the HT antenna, it was not much better than the scanner antenna at 93.3 FM. I tried a weather frequency, 162.5, four, excuse me, 450 FM, of course. The scanner antenna did pretty good, a 5.4. But again, the MFG antenna came out with a 7.2. And the HT just was slightly under there um, at a 7.1. So it was pretty good there. Then I tried uh, the upper, upper bands uh, where the local emergency frequencies are. I uh, just chose a couple of those, 855.4625 FM, of course. Scanner antenna was a reading of 3.1. MFJ J was 3.4, not much better, but still slightly better. And the HT antenna was about equivalent to the scanner antenna. Then I tried a little higher frequency, uh, 855.712 FM, of course. Scanner antenna was about the same, 3.1. The MFG antenna jumped up to 5.4, and so did the HT. So they were apparently tuned around those frequencies. So the conclusion was that the MFJ antenna that I was evaluating had equal or better performance. Actually better, except in a couple of cases it was almost slightly better than the other two antennas. Therefore, it would make a good replacement for either of these antennas if I had to replace them. Um, and if you look at some of the results um, up here in the table, I might, you know, you might even want to purchase this even if your antenna is not lost or broken. It's because of the fact that it gives you better performance. Now, in all cases, I used the MFJ antenna fully extended. I did not try tuning it by changing the length of the antenna. I just left it fully extended. So that was the results. So hope this is some useful information. If you have any questions uh, or comments, please send me a comment or an email. And that'll be it for today. Bye-bye.